So, welcome in everybody, The CW Providence. You always watch Masters of Illusion right here every Friday night at 8 o'clock. And we have the opportunity to talk to one of the people you see on the screen, Farrell Dillon, joining us on Skype. How you doing, Farrell? Doing good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for joining us. L let me tell you, I'm amazed at anything magical because... I can't figure it out. I mean, let everybody on the inside as to, you know, don't tell us your tricks, you know, secrets of the, of the trade, but, you know, how did you get involved with magic? Uh, how did I get involved in magic? Yeah. Uh, I've been doing magic ever since I was a little kid. Um, I was fascinated by it, and uh, I wasn't that good at sports, so I got into, you know, doing magic tricks and um, I was really bored one day, and my mom had got me this little magic set, and I just started looking at it, and I was like, oh, this is really cool, and I made some of the tricks, they were terrible, but uh, they pretended to be amazed anyways, and then, you know, over the years, I got more and more magic, and it, was, uh, it became kind of an obsession, and then now, uh, I just never stopped doing it, so I do it full time, and it's, it's the best. Now, how cool is it to have a TV show like Masters of Illusion? You know, so that everyone can see it on, on a weekly basis. Uh, it's first of all, it's awesome. Um, the more magic on television, always the better. Um, you know, magic seems to be going through this really cool resurgence, and everybody's really interested in it again. And um, I think that that's huge for us. Uh, you know, and being able to be on TV every week and getting that exposure and people, you know talking about it on social networking and that sort of thing. It's always great for us. It's great for the shows. But, you know, even with the TV shows, magic is really something that should be experienced live. You know, uh, on TV, it's really great. And Masters of Illusion does a really great job of making it seem like you're watching it live. But nothing compares to seeing it in a theater live in front of your face. Now, it's funny you mention that because you are coming... Part of the Masters of Illusion tour to the Park Theater down in Cranston, Rhode Island, October 1st at 7.30. You can get tickets at parktheaterri.com. And tell us what it's like taking it on tour. Well, it's the time of our lives. Like, uh, you know, there's a lot of magicians in the show, and you'll see all kinds of different types of magic. Uh, Close-up sleight of hand magic in the show. There's big, grand illusions. They make a helicopter appear. Uh, but also... You know, you see comedy and all the different types of magic, and it's a really entertaining night for the whole family. Um, it's really the best possible show um, of magic because there's something there for everybody. You know, if you don't like the show for one second, come back in 10 seconds and you'll love the show again. It's like that kind of great family entertainment. Now, I'm always intrigued. I've been to a few, um, and... I'm always intrigued when someone from the audience gets involved. Do they have the opportunity on this tour to do that? Yeah, there's tons of audience participation. That's really one of the best parts for the performers because when you bring people up on stage, you never know what's going to happen. You know, you could bring up somebody who's just completely out of their minds. And um, also, you're really close to the reaction of the person on stage, so you get to see their face when the magic happens. So for the performers, that's the most fun part because we can never predict what's going to happen on stage. Now, do you still get wild when you see other people's magic tricks? Of course. Uh, you know, I just saw David Copperfield uh, a month ago and he has a whole brand new show and it was awesome. Um, and so I see guys like that and I'm like, wow, you know, and it's really inspiring. Uh, but there's guys on the tour who I really look up to and who wow me every time they go out on stage. Now, for someone who hasn't seen you before, what's kind of your niche and what are some of your favorite tricks? Well, I am uh, a comedy magician, so I tell jokes and I do magic tricks and I combine them pretty much at the same time. I do a lot of audience participation, but also one of my big niches is sleight of hand magic. Uh, but it's stage magic. It's like it's called manipulation, um, and I'm really, really good at it. And that's my thing. So, uh, and it's a style of magic that typically is done silent to music. But I've changed it in a way that I do it with jokes and kind of stand up comedy. Now, have you seen over the last couple of years, even maybe in the last decade, 
how much magic has changed to the point where now, you know, as you say, comedy, music, and magic all come in as one? Uh, yeah, you know, magic has changed a lot over the past uh, bunch of years, and I think that that has a big thing to do with its resurgence. Uh, people are becoming interested in it again because it's a timeless art, but it's always timeless because you can keep updating it and keep innovating it, and there's a lot of young guys out there who are really great innovators, uh, pushing magic into the 21st century and helping all of us be better entertainers and uh, do different types of magic that people haven't seen before. Now, for someone who's kind of on the fence, thinking about coming to the, the Park Theater October 1st to the Masters of Illusions Tour, what could you say to them and say, you know what, you really got to come see this? First of all, I'm surprised anybody's on the fence about coming to see the show. Uh, second, <laughs> uh, you won't see any show like this in the world. Uh, it's tons of different magic, and if you like magic at all, you need to come see this show. Uh, it's the greatest magicians in the world right now performing their best stuff. Because there's a bunch of magicians in the show. It's not one magician doing a big show. It's each magician doing their best stuff and then compiling it into a great show. So it's the best of the best. There's no reason not to come see the show. Now, I think you have a trick for us today. I do. I'm going to show you guys some uh, sleight of hand magic. I wanted to show you something with cards, but um, I opened up this deck of cards and there was... Uh, <laughs> How is that possible? It's magic, dude. <laughs> That's how it works. Now, how, how surprised would we be if we were let in on secrets of how you just did that? All right, so here we go. I'm going to show you uh, some quick sleight of hand. I'm going to make the card shrink. Watch. That's pretty cool. Better than just, you know, I'm just pulling it back. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sorry. All right, so look. Uh, the shrinking card. So look. Look at that. See? And it gets smaller. See? Look. Turn. Look, because I'm really strong. See? Look, they are. Here, look. They get. Turn. Look. That's incredible. That's amazing. Thank you. I've been practicing it for years. So, uh, here, one last time. Hey, look, you, you don't have to produce a handfuls of type. You can just do one, two, three, four. There's a lot of them here. It's... That's amazing. <laughs> See, I can never figure any of that out. <laughs> That's very true. So you're coming to Cranston, Rhode Island, October 1st, Park Theater. You can get the tickets at parktheaterri.com. And of course, watch Masters of Illusion right here on Les CW Providence Friday night at 8. That's awesome. Thanks for the time today, Farrell Dillon, and good luck on the tour. Have a great day. Awesome.